last three years got the job. Okay. My name is Nina Hayashi and I'm studying in the Advanced Diploma of International Studies, majoring tourism at IBU New Zealand. And I got a job as a counselor from an English education industry in Japan. Advanced cases <laughs> of studying abroad for job hunting. Okay, firstly, there were a lot of advantages being a student of IPU New Zealand. In IPU New Zealand, there are many students from all over the world, and I've learned their cultures and languages as well. <coughs> Actually, I, while I was doing job hunting, I was searching for the jobs where I can use English and, or, and also international working skills that I gained through IPU New Zealand. So these experiences were very helpful for me to have a broader perspective during my time job hunting. And <coughs> also I used to belong to, I, to the IPU New Zealand dance club. During th the time, I had become an executive reader and also made choreography for perform performances. So it was a really tough challenge for me, but this experience, ga uh, this experience uh, from this experience, I gained many great skills such as leader sk uh, leadership skills, uh, communication skills, management skills, and more. So I could take job interview confidently. Yes. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How about these advantages? Okay, so on, um, there were also disadvantages. For example, some other uh, students in Japan can w do internship. Uh, for the companies where they want to apply before job hunting. But however, I couldn't because uh, I had a crisis here and also I, what, I was unable to go back to Japan. So therefore, uh, <laughs> so <coughs> it was much harder for me to collect information during my time job hunting. Besides, I realized that my Japanese level was much worse than before and so it was, and also it was not good enough to take a job interview in Japanese. But I think it's depending on the person, like how much effort they made. So for students, it's you reap what you sow, meaning the result depend on how much effort they put in. <laughs> what about your ambition since you have become a full working person? So please tell me. Okay. So my resolution is to keep trying my best and keep learning everything I can. Like during these last four years, I have gained many great skills and precious experiences throughout my life in New Zealand. Therefore, I would like to keep challenging, challenging and pushing myself uh, without any fears and to, without any fears and contributing to my companies and global society. You have only one month and two weeks until graduation. So what do you really want to do for the rest of your student life? Okay, so this is my last university life. So I'd like to study hard, play hard, and make variety of amazing memories with my friends in New Zealand. And also, I really want to perform dancing with my team as much as we can. And in, the, in, in addition, I, I'm planning to stay in New Zealand for a year to get an experience of working and living in New Zealand by myself. Maybe it will be a really tough challenge for me, but I'm very sure that experience will make me grow up a lot. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> Thank you.